Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Jera Special. Today, I will show you how to create a normalized different difference moisture index, making it automation, making it completely automated using our model builder. So let's get started. For before, uh, let me remove this file. So go to the add section, add data. So uh, this is our uh, satellite image is downloaded from USGS website. Uh, let me show you the website. So enter in uh, enter in the web as USGS Earth Explorer and go to the and enter for the After uh, login to your account, go to the option called search criteria, search criteria, click your desired location like this. After that, go to the data set and go to the uh, Landsat 8 image. Let me choose a Landsat 8 image. So in my case, I will choose the Landsat collection to level 1 and I will click the Landsat 8, 9 image. After that, go to this result. So from you can down from here you can download the required satellite image for your work. But to download you have to log into your uh, USGS account. So let me show you here. So normalize different moisture indexes is used to determine the vegetation water content. Uh, for this we're gonna use the band phi n band six that is near infrared region and band six is the short wave infrared region. So let's get back to ArcGIS. So we're gonna use band 5 and band 6. Let me add. So let me tell you one thing. In last video, I have shown you how to manually prepare a, a normalized difference moisture index. And in this video is completely automated. Please refer to our previous video for more, um, more uh, for more contents. And this video will be completely automated. So now let me go, go to the section called Arc Toolbox and uh, let me click Arc Toolbox, Add Toolbox. So let me go to the tool section of my. So let me go to this option called New Toolbox. Click New Toolbox and enter as the normalized difference moisture index. So it defines normalized difference moisture index. So let me click and open and wait for a few seconds. It will be added to our Arc Toolbox. So our tool has been added to our Arc Toolbox section. Now right click, go to a new model. Now go to the model. So this is our uh, model builder. Model builder section. To create a model, go to the model. Model properties. Let me name as NDMI. That is normalized difference moisture index. And label, let me uh, name as the normalized Difference moisture index. So normalized difference moisture index NDMI. So now let me click OK. So Let's start generator. Let's start preparing it. So let me go to the search section. Let me minimize this. Go to the search section. Search by raster calculator. So 
So now search. So go to the raster calculator, spatial analyst. Drag this tool into our model builder. So let me right click, make a variable from a parameter. So okay. So all you have to do is now is to click the raster calculator and we already uh, are shown you the formula for calculating this in DMI. Let me show you the formula once again. So this is a formula for calculating the normalized different moisture index. We are using band uh, Landsat 8 for Landsat 8. So the formula is band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6. So let us minimize and go back to ArcGIS. So this is band 5 and band 6. Let me choose the uh, float, double click float, band 5 minus band 6. So divided by, again choose float, band 5 plus band 6. So this is our formula. So let me uh, cross check it, cross check the formula. So band 5 minus band 6, band 5 plus divided by band 5 plus band 6. So we are right. So now let me click OK. So let me auto layout it. Okay, so now let me run the tool. So validate it. Now, so click run. So wait for some time. Let's check our model. So the model has run correctly. Let me close this. Now let me rename as NDMI. There is normalized difference moisture index. Now click OK. So let me uh, make it as a uh, so model parameters. So model parameters are not available here. So let me choose this as a So now let me rename this as, so we have four different raster here. So now let me zoom this. So this is band six. Similarly, let me, uh, Okay, so this one is this one is a band five. Let me rename as input band six. Let me mention uh, mention as Landsat. 8. Now click OK. Similarly, let me uh, rename, uh, copy this. Now click OK. Let me go this, rename, remove this one, enter. But this one is a band 5. So let me change this as a band 5. Now click OK. Similarly, for these two also, we are going to make that same change. This is band 6 and this one is a this one is a band 5. So I made the changes like this is band 
uh, band 6 Landsat 8, band 5 Landsat 8 and band 6 1 Landsat 8 and band 5 1 Landsat 8. To make sure that as uh, names are not same, I have added this number 1. So let me auto layout this. Okay. Now right click, make it as a model parameter and right click, make it this also a model, model parameter. Similarly, model parameter and model parameter. And let me choose this also as a model parameter. Right click, add to the display. So save this. Model save. So let me minimize it. So let me remove this. So, so let's see how this is working. So let me save this once again and uh, validate it. Now close it. Yes, save. Okay. Now go to the Arc Toolbox section. Click our uh, newly designed model that is normalize different moisture index. Now double click it. Now it, uh, it is asking that input band 6, land side 8. So let's input band 6. Second one is input band 5, land side 8. So let me input land side 5. Here input band, uh, band 6. Let me enter band 6. And similarly, last we have input band 5. So let me input band 5. So band 6, band 5, band 6, band 5. That's right. Let me choose the output location. Uh, let me name as NDMI1 because uh, already is existing the uh, file name. So save. So now let's run this. So we have uh, seen one error. Uh, let me check the error. So let me check the error. Go to the actual box. So right click, edit. So these bands are not connected to our raster cap grid. That is a error. That is a result of the error. So let me cl click this one. So now let me uh, uh, enter the formula again. Let me enter the formula again. Let me close this. So we already know that the Landsat uh, phi. That is. Uh, let me choose the float option. Float. Landsat 5 minus Landsat 6 so divided by uh, Landsat that is again a click float so again we have to enter Landsat 5 and uh, plus Landsat uh, 6 so this is our recipe formula to calculate this one. So let me click OK. okay. So let me go back once again. Let me choose this as Landsat 6. So this is Lanta X. Let me click OK. OK. So let me show you the result error. So we have chosen two bands, band 5 and band 6. Uh, let us have entered the formula float. Similar formula, band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6 okay so after that let me uh, i have removed other two uh, other two uh, unwanted bands and let me click ok after that we have band 5 and band 6 that is landsat 8 image okay and uh, after that let me uh, validate it so add to the display So let me run the tool again. Run. So wait for some time.
so our model has been successfully run so let me close this so let me right click add to the display add to the display now minimize it so this is our normalized difference moisture index go to the property symbology classify choose a color as this apply click ok so let me turn off other two bands so the red is uh, indicates the low moisture uh, low moisture index and blue indicates the higher moisture index we already seen what is uh, the normalized difference moisture index means it determines the vegetation water content so there is higher vegetation water content in the coastal areas which is indicated in the blue color and similarly there is also indicated that here we have a higher moisture water content so in this video i have shown you how to create a normalized difference moisture index using a model builder and making the workflow completely automated now let us check the our uh, tool go to the opt tool box double click our model normalize difference moisture index so let me add my band so input band 6 landside 8 so let us input band 6 so this is band 6 so input band 5 landside 8 so input band 5 so choose our output location let me choose ndmi4 save so click ok so our tool is running so let's wait for some time so model has been successfully run it is correct let me close go to the our last raster layer properties now it's classified yes so let me choose the color as this one so apply click ok so we have generated our required raster using our model builder making it completely automated so Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel Terra Spatial for more contents.